Hello students. I know you all must aware of the word interview. But what about mock interview? So, in this very video, I will be telling you about mock interview. Let's start with the definition of mock interview. A mock interview also known as practice interview is a simulation of an actual job interview. The practice of interview held with a professional career counselor. The purpose of mock interview is to provide you with an opportunity to practice your interviewing skills in an environment similar to the actual interview. Now we will go through the benefits of a mock interview. Number 1 learning how to prepare for an interview. Likewise dressing professionals bringing a copy of your resume or arriving on time. Next one practicing how to answer the tell me about yourself question. Next getting exposure to industry specific questions. Next becoming more comfortable answering your questions using the star method now what is this star method the star method stands for situation task action results with this behavioral interview approach employer can find out the, how candidate would act in a certain situations on the job based on their past experiences candidates answer would describe a situation the required task the candidate's chosen action and the result of that action next one receiving feedback and critics that will be better to prepare for your real interview next one gaining an overall sense of confidence with the interviewing process now this interview process consists of two or three rounds of interview and each and in every interview will last about 30 to 45 minutes and in that interview you will have a mix of general or behavioral or now what are behavior based questions behavior based interview are designed to elicit information about how you have performed in the past because past behavior is a good indicator of how you will function in the future and the question would be like tell me about a difficult decision you have made in the last year or give me an example of time when you motivated others so you can prepare for behavior based question by recalling specific actions that demonstrate your accomplishment abilities and fit for the position the next one is situational based question interviewer may ask some situation based question and they will evaluate your understanding skills Answering this type of question shows the level of maturity when delivering tough feedback. It display honesty, a commitment to your job and making things right, and an openness to learning from mistakes. Now, pre-interview preparation. So, whenever in our life, whenever we have to go for a big deal, or for doing such great things we prepare ourselves so in the same way before going for an interview we have to prepare certain things like documents and in documents we should have resumes certificate on education experience and achievements next one is professional attire clothes and accessories you should wear to the interview next one answer to the possible questions like practicing answer to the standard questions and route to the venue of your interview the direction of the place of the interview you should know now there are some things which you must do before going for an interview like research the job and the company take the time to research the company and position you are interviewing for in advance practice makes perfect the more practice you have an interviewing the more comfortable you will be during a job interview next know the facts be sure you know your work history and bring an extra copy of your resume to refer it if you are nervous and need a reminder next one try to stay calm 
Give yourself plenty of time to get to the interview. Take a deep breath before you go into the interview and do your best to stay calm. Next one, take your time. Don't rush to get out a response to an interview question. Briefly think about your response before you answer. Next one, share your accomplishments. Don't be shy about what you have accomplished in your career. Share examples of your accomplishments that are related to the job you are interviewing for to reinforce that you are capable and qualified. Next one, don't ramble. Your response to interview questions should be direct and to the point. Don't ramble and get off topic. Next one, ask for clarification. If you are not sure what the interviewer is asking, it's fine to ask for clarification if you are not sure what is being asked. Next one, have questions ready to ask. The last question you will probably be asked during a job interview is whether you have any questions. Be prepared and have a list of questions ready to ask the interviewer. Now we will see some of the answering strategies which we should adopt while going for an interview. Number one, speak volumes. For each quality you present, make sure you are prepared to describe a situation where you demonstrated that quality. For example, if during the interview you say that you work well under pressure, be ready to describe an example where you did work effectively under pressure and delivered the result required. Number two, steer the interview your way. Be like a politician. Politicians offer answer questions indirectly by presenting information they want to convey. You can do exact same thing in a job interview. For example, if the interviewer asks if you prefer to work alone or on a team, he may be trying to get you to say you are on a way or the other. But you don't have to play this game. The reality is that most jobs require us to work both independently and in team. Your response to this question should show that you have been successful in both the situations. Next one, be clear and concise. Be honest with your responses. Tell the truth in as positive a manner as possible. And don't discuss things or events in a negative fashion. Long answers are less effective than concise responses and tend to make interviewers suspicious. If you are taking more than 90 seconds without interaction with the interviewer, you may be providing more details than is needed. The next one is open the conversation. After your response, ask the interviewer a tag on question such as, does that give you what you are looking for? This ensures you are understood accurately, conveys that you want to be sure you are providing what the interviewer is looking for and promotes two-way communication. And at last, you deserve the best. So practice and prepare to your best when it matters most. I hope you all have understood about the mock interview, about the process of interview and what are the pre-preparation before going for an interview. This will definitely help you in the future while you will be going for your interview. Are all the faculty members are putting effort and trying to provide you all the materials which is needed in this period of time. So please appreciate our work and go through all the videos, share it with your friends and subscribe the official channel so that you can get all the latest updates.